Yo, welcome to the channel if you're new here and welcome back. If you're not, it is Shop by Kurt. So today's video, we're gonna talk about understanding your strengths and your weaknesses as a creator and why it is important. As a creator, it's important to understand your strengths and your weaknesses to help you create your best work. The first step is you gotta be honest with yourself. So take out a pen, a paper, the notes app on your phone, your iPad, whatever you write your, your stuff down, your goals and all of that, get one of them out and start making a list of your strengths and your weaknesses. So with the strengths, you wanna write down things that come naturally to you, things that you excel at super easy and you don't have to think about it, almost like you do second nature, right? And then on the flip side, with the weaknesses, you wanna write down things that don't come as easy to you, things that you don't excel at, things that you definitely need improvement on. Some of those things, you know, could be editing, it could be shooting, um, you know, settings, memorizing settings, it could be anything, but just write all of these things down. So ask yourself, why are these things on the list? What have you done in the past that has led you to the point where these things are easy or what have you overlooked? What steps have you overlooked in the past that, you know, your weaknesses are still weaknesses? Are you skipping steps in the process? Things like that. Then what you want to do is use this session of reflection bars. So then what you want to do is use this reflection to understand yourself better as a creator, both from the strengths and the weaknesses to help you along your process to improve as a creator. Double down on things that you're good at, improve on things that you're not. So with the weaknesses, what you want to do is either start to improve on the thing that you're not good at, whether it be editing, shooting, um, lighting, whatever the case may have you, or you want to find somebody that's better than you at that thing that you don't excel at and have, bring them onto the project, collaborate with them and help and let them help you elevate your project. And then in the process, you also actually learn, you know, more about the thing that you're not that good at. So from time to time, just go back to the list as you feel like you're growing, reflect and adjust accordingly. So anyway, man, with all that being said, to have a better understanding of your strengths and weaknesses, it'll help you better reflect who you are as a creator. And that's pretty much what we all trying to do at the end of the day. If you like the video, definitely drop it a like as it helps out the channel. Subscribe for more content and I will catch y'all in the next video. Y'all stay creative.